Hey everybody, welcome back to another Tad Hack. My name is Natalie DiCario and I'm the marketing manager at VoIP Innovations. For those who aren't familiar with us, we're a telecom aggregator and carrier that's been in the business for over 10 years. We're able to consolidate telecom services from multiple tier one providers and maintain our own growing network. We offer voice, messaging, emergency services such as E911, fraud mitigation, a customizable billing solution, a client management system, and communications APIs. So let's dig into those APIs a bit more. Our CPaaS product is called Appadays, and it's a cloud-based layer that allows software developers to simply and quickly integrate texting, calling, and other communications features into their apps. Basically, we're giving you the ability to manipulate your real-time calls. Here are a few examples of things you can build using Appadays. You can notify users of crucial appointments or updates via SMS. You can create a click-to-call widget from an application. You can request emergency help instantly, or you could provide web-based chat through an application. We even have a customer right now building a school bus tracking application for parents. Now let me show you how to get started with Appadays. You'll begin by visiting the admin console by clicking the sign up link below this video or by visiting the VoIP Innovations resource section on the TadHack website. Once you create your account and get logged in, you'll see that a credit has been automatically applied. From your main dashboard, you'll navigate to the top right drop down icon and select developer services. Once you're on this page, you'll select create a dev app. You'll choose from either script XML or specify external script URL. Choosing a script XML means that the XML script will be hosted on our platform. You'll simply name your app, choose your region, and begin writing your script. Once that's all finished, you'll hit create app. If you're building something that includes SMS, for example, you'll need a phone number for your app to work. If you're using WebRTC, you might not need one at all. To assign a VoIP Innovations number to your app, click the three dots next to your app and choose Assign Numbers. You won't have any numbers listed in your account yet, so you'll want to select Purchase Numbers. You'll then go through and select your location filters. Once you find the number you want, check it off and hit Order Selected. Your number will show up in the My Number section as Pending Purchase. From here, you'll choose Assign to Selected App. It'll take less than a minute for the number to propagate. The second option that we have in Appadays is Specify External Script URL. This allows call information to be sent to your server. Your server takes the information and provides an XML response back to Appadays, telling it what to do with the call. Now before you run off and begin working on your hack, I do want to mention a few more things. Appadays is 100% language agnostic, so you're free to use PHP, Java, Python, .NET, or whatever other language you're comfortable with. If you're using WebRTC, we do recommend using Firefox or Edge as your browser for the best result. Our GitHub account is full of extensive resources as well as SDKs that you're free to use. If you run into any issues while you're using Appadays, the live chat feature is the quickest way to reach us. It'll always be available in the Appadays admin console, but you can also get to it from the contact support links listed below this video and on the Tad Hack website under the VoIP Innovations resources. Our team is gonna be available to you throughout the event, and we're all excited to see the things that you guys can build using our APIs and programmable phone numbers. Good luck and have fun.